Now, an even better use for input quantize is programming drums. So let's do that. Let's close this. Let's make a new track. And let's add Easy Drummer by TuneTrack. Let's add some drums. Let's start off by setting a time selection so we can loop it, turn looping on. Let's make an item, command on the Mac, control on the PC, and create one right here. The reason I do this is so we can switch the mode right here to MIDI overdub replace and choose record MIDI overdub. This way in this item, we're gonna record all the drums. Go into record, set our input to the axiom, turn our monitoring, and we should hear drums. Cool. So now if we go into record, it's gonna loop record. Every time it turns around, it's gonna keep on recording. So we can keep on adding sounds and building a drum track. Now before I do this, let's right click and choose input quantize. And we'll choose 16th notes, turn it on. That'll make it a lot quicker as it's gonna quantize everything we do. Move this over a bit, that'll work. So now let's record some drums. Let's hear it back without the click. I think you get the idea. We could tweak that a lot better, but you see how quickly it comes together using input quantize on the way in. And by looping it in overdub mode, we can layer our parts one at a time, right on top of each other. So that's pretty much it. That's the basics of MIDI in Reaper. Let's move on.